Now this is risky as fuck because I could <laughs> run into some really nasty Zeeks up here and have no escape. Uh, but that's what this is for. Welcome back, everybody, to Seven Days to Die. I'm the Bearded OG, and this is the Insane Nightmare series. We have some crops to harvest. Let's grab our farmer uh, armor and harvest these crops here. And we've got a Screamy. They called in a horde. All right, well, let's get some XP. Is that it? Somebody over here. I think they're all dead. Okay. Oh, uh, all right. What the hell? <laughs> Are they all dead or not? What the hell's going on? Hiker. Got him. And we got the XP for it too. We don't have any really any intellect skill in traps, so I don't think we get any XP for trap kills, which sucks, but maybe we'll fix that later. We'll see. All right, guys, so here's the deal. We have um, the oil shale challenge finished because I went out and I got all the oil shale out of those two oil company places, and that came to 2,572 shale, plus we have another 677 that we've just kind of looted here and there. And so let's go ahead and make ourselves some gasoline. Uh, where's my wood? Grab some of that. And we'll make 3,249 gas. Damn, that's loud. Uh, we're going to need about 13 and a half minutes of burn time for that. Close enough. Jesus, that is loud as hell, man. Okay, so let's see. Do I have any more super corn anywhere? I don't. All right. Can we make some seeds from this? Oh, by the way, I did make the fireman's axe mod too, as you can see there. Um, so let's go super. Make three more super corn seed. That'll give us a total of five super corn that we can plant. Okay, and then we have what seven, eight or so more spots for seeds. Let's put all of you in there. Not you. Uh let's see. We've got 36 potatoes, 23 pumpkins. Where's our corn? 99 corn. Okay, we don't need to plant corn. Uh we could maybe do some more aloe and some pumpkins. Uh, we have 61 blueberries. We have 57 coffee. So, yeah, I think uh, we have 25 yucca. We could maybe do some yucca. Do we have yucca seeds? We should have yucca seeds. Yeah, we got lots of yucca seeds. Let's do a big old batch of yucca. What the hell, man? And then we can make... That doesn't go in there. Um, then we can make uh, a bunch of yucca juice. Yeah, it's a beautiful thing. Right, let's put our normal armor back on. We'll put the farmer armor back in there. Uh, let's grab our axe here and go modify. And we're going to switch out. Can we have this and the other? Oh, we can have both of those on at the same time. Um, well, we don't use our axe as a weapon. So 25% more damage to animals isn't really helping us. That does give us, uh, give us 49 block damage. If we put this on, 
The block damage is the same, but it makes the axe more durable. So I think that's the wiser move there. And then we'll just stick that in there and we can put it on something else later. And we'll put the other super corn in there for now. All right. Very good. Um, let's see. So I think the plan for today is to go do the Fates Motel. We're just going to do it freestyle because we don't have a job for it. We're not at tier four yet. And that's fine. And let that make all of its gas. Oh, look at that. Craft gas cans is complete. Hot oh, damn. Uh, where are we at? Right here. 5,000 XP. Yeah, it's a beautiful thing. I know. I already said that, didn't I? About it being a beautiful thing. Let's make some more concrete mix. Okay, so I think we're ready to set out. Um, you know what, though? I think we probably better take some wood and some blocks with us for Fates Motel. We might need that stuff. So we'll lock those two in. Let's go ahead and throw back a hobo stew. And a red tea. And as you can see, we've got lots of water now. Um, and we even have more here. Let's just collect those and I'm just going to stick them in there for now. All right, let's do this. Fates Motel. I am, I'm not real familiar with this PO. I have done it before, once or twice. And I know it's been in the game for a while, but I'm not super familiar with it. So yeah, this ought to be fun. Let's do this. This is a tier four, so I'm expecting it to be pretty challenging overall. So we'll just see what we can do here. No wall safes there. There should be because, you know, hotels, motels, whatever, usually have safes that you can put your valuables in. All right, so there's a light there. Look at that. Sneaky. I'm not quite hitting the savage country. We'll hit the bottom of it then. Nice. Okay, so uh, what the where the hell are we supposed to go from here? <laughs> I, I I believe there's an underground portion to this POI, but obviously we can't get anywhere going that way. So let's go through here. No bad bads in here. Okay. Got a couple of vending machines. Take that, that, and that. Got a weapons bag in here. What do we get? I think we'll probably just get iron if we scrap that, right? Uh, all right. Well, let's scrap it. Scrap that. But we'll take that. Kind of sucks. Not going to lie. Not very happy with that loot. That opens the door that we just busted. That's not lootable. Okay. All right. Well, let's go through this part of the hotel then. Hotel motel. A 
That's not lootable. All right, we got uh, three crates here. Shoddy Messiah. Working stiff. Crack a book. Ooh. What's that? Automatic weapons have 20% less degradation. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't scrap it. Dude, what the fuck? Pay attention. <laughs> that would have been sad. That would have made me cry, man. That would have made me cry. I know you guys have never done that. Only I do shit like that. Right? Right. Let's not eat that. Uh, eat. Consume that yet until we have our proper armor on. Sambos? Yeah. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. Yeah, it's interesting. You know, this, this POI has been in the game for quite some time. Uh, but I've just... For whatever reason, I haven't done it enough to really be familiar with it. What I do know is there's like an underground portion to it. Um, well, a pistol. That's about all I can tell you. I don't know what else is going to happen, but we're going to find out, aren't we? And that's how we get to the underground portion. A little bit of money there. Um, okay, so let's, let's go, before we go down underground, let's just drop off a few things in the bike here. We now have a skill point. That skill point's going right on into salvage ops. We are now maxed out on salvage operations. We are a master scavenger, ladies and gentlemen. Isn't that a wonderful thing? Uh, we're going to scrap that, I think, for the pistol parts. Don't care about that. Don't care about that. Nor that. Nor that. Nor this. Mm, I'm going to toss those, too. Super easy to make. Don't care about that, either. We have almost a full inventory to go down below. Nope. Here we go. There's coffins down here. Why are there coffins underneath the motel? I did read that book that lets us find potentially more jewels and stuff in coffins. Oh, you know what, though? I think we have to break the coffins, actually. Yeah, look at that. We just got a gold uh, nugget. Hell yeah. Nice. He did. And we got our bolt back too. Isn't that a wonderful thing? Nope. He did. I'm a little nervous because this has been too easy so far. We're 
gonna probably have to pay the piper here pretty soon. I'll bet you. Take that, that, and that. Actually, no, we won't take that. stuff. The trash pile. Okay, up we go. It's been a very, a very long time. Since I've seen the original Psycho movie, and I don't really remember much about it except for a big knife and a shower. Alright, let's grab this. We are fatigued and all of our fatigue stuff is up in the bike. What exactly does that do to us? I know it fucks our stamina up, but and how badly? Your maximum oh maximum health is lowered. You are fatigued and take 10% more damage. Ah shit. Okay, how how far away from the bike are we? I don't know. Luck out and find a a vitamin. <laughs> Nothing behind here. We have a passing gas in here. shale <laughs> all right there's a bunch of coal there So that door goes outside. And because it probably goes outside, and we need a vitamin, we're going to break through it. All right, we'll take one of those. All right, let's go ahead and proceed here. Looks like the main way into the house. Um, take all of that. I've already looked at all of that stuff. And what's in here? Not really anything. Okay, let's go up into the house.
One less Zombo to have to deal with. <laughs> oh shit, landmines. Can we get him to walk over it? Nope. That would have been funny. Actually, maybe not because it might have hurt us. In which case, you guys would have thought it would have been funny, but not me. Oh! What the hell, man? In here? Okay. I'm not supposed to go that way. I'm not supposed to go in here either, but we're doing it. Actually, no. Let's go the path we're supposed to go. Otherwise, I'll get confused. What is that? Crash. No Zombo in there. Kitchen! I hear at least two Zomps. And uh, one of them is a feral. We got, oh man, we got a double out of that deal. What we did, sorry, my nose is bothering me here. <laughs> uh, we did get uh, that next point in penetrator, which is helping with that quite a bit. Small food pile. He wants us to go that way. Not going to take either one of those things. Door's locked. All right, I think I see a hazmat guy right here. We did indeed. This is, uh, oh, right, this is the room we bu busted into. Let's, uh, before we go over there. Make sure there's no wall safes in here. I don't want that. Man, I don't want that. Nobody in here. It's closed door there. But yeah, that just goes into that same hallway there. Okay, I guess that's it for in here. All right. 
So I guess we go up, up the stairs now. The next level. Let's go up this way first. Did we kill him? He did that time. Okay, let's reinforce that door. Not sure what block they're banging on. I think they're trying to get out of that other room. Yeah, I don't want any of that stuff. There we go. Got a feral's attention. Feral white. Tough motherfucker. Oh, coffin room. Okay, we want to take these apart for possible gems and shit. So far, nothing. Uh, we'll take those... Well, we'll take all of that, actually. Oh, don't care about that. There, yeah, we got some silver. And... We'll also have a screamer outside. Nice. Tell you what, um I think what I'm gonna do just in case that screamy does call in a horde. Let's kind of put up a little bit of a barricade here. Okay. So let's do this room next. anything in here well except for that and this okay did we go around this corner no this is a dip oh shit That's a different room. So, question is, do we go up into the loft in that room that has all the coffins, or I'm not sure. Yeah, let's go up into the loft first and just see what the hell's going on here. That's what the hell's going on. Holy shit. Okay. That's a lot of Zeeks. I think we're going to block the door here.
Oh shit. That's the first time we've really had to use <laughs> our own shit weapon, which is this one. Oh no, not good. Not good, not good. No. Are you dead? You are now. Holy shit, okay, let's get up here. And let's block this at least. Because now we're dealing with screamy hordes. As well as whatever the hell's in this building. Uh, house. Thing. Place. Scary. Okay. Get rid of that. Uh, I don't have any medical stuff on me. So that's not good. Let's put you down here then. Okay, well, at least we're in, we're healthy at this point. <laughs> so, yeah, okay. Let's keep on going here. Make sure everybody's loaded. I really should probably go deal with that screamer, but we're so close to being done here that we're just going to keep going. Do another blockade just in case. Now this is risky as fuck because I could run into some really nasty Zeeks up here and have no escape. Uh, but that's what this is for. Take that. Let's, oh, no. I don't want to do it. Let's reinforce this door in case we need to hide behind it. There's a cubby hole back here. Oh, I can't get back there. Unless we take this apart. Well, it's not a cubby hole, it's a door. All right, we're getting ahead of ourselves. I don't know if we were supposed to go through here. All right, that screamer's still on up here. <clears throat> Let's go through here first. Oh shit. Sounds like we just have one Zeke to deal with. Nice. Take all that. Don't care about that. Don't care about that. Nothing up there. Okay, let's go this way. Fucking screamer, man. Uh, we'll take that. Let's reinforce this door. They must have gotten into those landmines. Oh, shit! Oh, not good.
Where am I even at? I'm like in a different spot now. Oh, hey, that's the loot room. Okay. Uh, let's grab that. Not even sure how we got to this point. Question is, if we go down there, what are we going to run into? A and B, is that horde going to be able to get to us? And we are really loaded up here, too. So, okay, hold on a minute. I'm like, so, okay, no, wait a minute. Yeah, all right, we broke through here. Remember, and I said we were in the wrong spot, so we went back. So this is the right path. What I don't know is that if we go down here, are we going to be able to keep the horde from getting to us? I guess what we'll do is this. Okay. Um, let's do something else too. Let's make ourselves an escape route. We need it. Okay, I think they're below us. But the problem is we're out of space. Yeah, they must be below us because otherwise they'd be... I blocked them off over there. So I think we're LOL safe at the moment. Let's see what's in the crates. Okay. And then let's open the fat loots. Commando boots, 10% run speed. Um, morale booster. Okay. So I'm going to have to come back here and get the rest of this loot. But we need to get the hell out of here while the getting's good. So, let's go ahead and do that. What's this? Uh, where is the Screamy? Did she despawn? I don't know. Tell you what, since we're at the base, let's just drop off and then we'll go back and get the rest of that loot. Okay, let's go back in here. Um, doesn't sound like there's any Zeeks left, so I think they've all probably despawned uh, from uh, except for the ones we killed so I just gotta remember how to get up there I think we went up this way uh, try that again oh the last rungs out that's why I'm having trouble there we went this way and this way and down here into the loot room Let's grab all of that, all of that.
Uh, okay, I think that's it, right? Everything is looted. Okay, let's go ahead and put on our nerd armor here and read these books. You can now make an air filter land mine. And that's it. Okay. Oh, Ratchet Quality 4. Nice. We still haven't used our Ratchet Quality 2 yet. That's funny. And Steel 2's Quality 4 too. Very nice. Okay. Um, Let's put you in here. Just curious. If we... Scrap this. How many tool parts do we get? One. Hmm. Okay, and I have five steel tool parts. So to make a steel pickaxe, it would take four parts. <laughs> I, I don't know. I think I might wait until we get to steel five before we do that. Yeah, I think that's what we'll do. all of our gasoline let's just put that into here or at least a full stack but anyway how many molotovs can we make with 5,000 gas I don't think it's a ton let's take a look well oh, and another Wandering horde coming through. Where's the rest of them? Is it just those three? I can't see very well. Huh, I don't know. That was weird. <laughs> There's usually about six to eight of them, I think. Uh, Molotovs, yeah, oil and cloth. We can make a total of 17. That's pretty good. Let's do it. Let's actually do that. And we still have 12 in here, so that'll give us a nice little collection of Molotovs for the Horde Knight. Oh, actually, I've got more gas even in here. All right, let's make even some more. Three more. I don't mind doing that now that we have the, you know, the chem bench. It's just before we had the chem bench. That was uh, it's just not something we could really afford to do, you know. We have 25 duct tape and 26 glue. That's amazing. We are doing fine now, finally, for glue, duct tape, repair kits, etc. All right, guys, here's the deal. Uh, let's see. Tomorrow is going to be day 40. We'll still have three full days. We'll have 40, 41, and all of 42 before the Horde Night. Uh, our base is completely repaired, upgraded, ready to go. So I think the plan for tomorrow's episode is going to be to go find the desert and look for our permanent location. Now, my plan is to still do Horde 42 at this base just because it's ready to go. Um... But then after that, and maybe even leading up to that, we're going to start gearing up towards moving to the desert. Whatever the fuck that actually means. <laughs> so, yeah, not sure. But we'll figure it out. And here I am harvesting again without my farmer armor on. I could just can't take me anywhere. That's all there is to it. Um, so yeah, that's going to be it for this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, uh, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share out the video. And do we have any points? We don't have any skill points. Do we have any of these? We don't. All right. I'll see you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.